welcome to an overview of the Super Nintendo Classic Mini in less than two minutes. A video where I'll be pronouncing SNES as SNES to save some time and possibly annoy people. There are a few things I want to accomplish in this video, they're listed here. My story begins at Smith's Toys this morning at 9am. There's Smith's Toys and there's the SNES Mini. Marvellous. Every package warrants an unboxing and this is no different. I do think it's nice that Nintendo make us do basic arithmetic these days as well. Inside we find some points, a manual, USB cable, HDMI lead, two lovely controllers and the console. Isn't there supposed to be a poster as well? Ah well. To connect the console we connect the wires thusly. We then have a screen of 20 plus 1 games which when hacked will give us 20 plus an additional number of games. Stick that in your arithmetic Nintendo. Games play as you'd expect with three screen modes for added flavour. As you can see this console is smaller than the original Super Nintendo, probably a similar size to a rat's anus. Now the NES Classic had some issues with wire length. I can safely say that at four chopsticks in length a kinked SNES mini pad adds a little extra, although it's nowhere near the original length of eight chopsticks. The new pad itself is rather nice, the rubber buttons are a bit firmer but then younger things generally are. For reference, both the USB and HDMI cables are roughly 4 chopsticks in length, whilst a typical 90s RF cable is 7 chopsticks in length. Clearly things were just longer back then. At this stage I know there are two questions you need answers for. The first is, can it run Crisis? And no, no it can't. The second, can you use it through a 90s CRT with an HDMI converter? Well yes, yes you can, which is probably what I'll do, rendering this whole experience completely pointless. Marvellous stuff, Nintendo. Now, through a rather strange turn of events, I seem to have managed to get hold of two or three of these. I'm not sure how many exactly yet. But rather than joining the scalpers on eBay, I thought I would give my surplus ones away. So if you want to get hold of one of these, then tweet me something at Nostal Nerd on Twitter. I don't know, maybe why you deserve or want one of these or something in one tweet. And then I'll pick one at random. If I have another one of these, I'll probably be giving it away to one of my patrons through Patreon. So, meh, giving back to the Nintendo community. Thanks for watching. See you next time.